Good evening, and welcome to Central High School. My name is Greg Avellino, and I am the Executive Principal. I am very excited to share with you our comprehensive high school. I want you to know that we offer a wide range of courses, supported by a very caring faculty and staff. We focus on how we deliver instruction, assess instruction, and how we can best help our students become better learners and community members in preparation for the 21st century in a very ever-changing world, as you know, especially in our current learning environment of the hybrid and virtual schedules. The high school team works very strongly to develop relationships with our students and families. We know that relationships are key to supporting our students' success, and these types of relationships are built upon trust, respect, and mutual understanding. Parents, I want you to know that when your child is attending the high school, we have an open door policy. You can reach out to administrators, teachers, and counselors at any time that you have a question. Please do not hesitate. Please call the high school as we are happy to, uh, to assist in any way that we can. Our high school counseling team is outstanding and they work very closely with our high school administrators, faculty and staff, and our families. In my time here at the high school, they demonstrate over and over their commitment to your uh, children and our students. This evening, you will hear information that will help prepare your child for the first time that they walk into the high school, as well as planning for their future while they are here. I thank you for coming this evening, and I look forward to working with your children next year when they become official Central High School students. Robinson. I'm one of the counselors here at the high school and I'd like to talk to you about the transition from middle school to high school. We are all well aware that the transition is a significant one for both students and parents. Counselors and administrators are certainly here to help students and parents throughout this transition. I'd like to talk about some of the similarities and differences between middle school and high school. Starting with morning announcements, each morning during second black class, Video announcements for the day are broadcasted in each classroom from our own TV news studio within the building. Students and staff learn about anything from upcoming events to important dates and college admissions visits. Something that students can look forward to here at the high school is an increase in freedoms. So for example, each student is given a locker which will be theirs for their entire high school career. They're also permitted to carry their backpacks with them throughout the building. We have a school store where students are sometimes permitted to grab a cookie or snack, a smoothie, or something else to drink between classes or during a study hall. With regard to homework and extra help, as you'd expect, moving up to the high school comes with an increase in responsibility. Students are expected to spend a little more time and effort on homework and the consequences of not completing classwork and homework become a bit more significant. The hope is that students established good homework habits in middle school, which will help translate to a strong work ethic here at the high school. We have an after school period every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday where teachers are available for extra help. This period runs from 325 until 405. Students can then take the late buses home, and it's a great way to get additional support for classes. Study halls are best used to complete work and seek extra help from teachers. Remember that in high school here, study halls are 80 minutes long. So it's a good opportunity if you're able to take advantage of a long duration of time to get some extra work done, seek extra help from teachers, 
or go to the library and do research. The next category is helpful tools. School tool is a great tool for students and parents to utilize. Parents can check the status of their child's grades, look up their schedule, and see the names of their child's teachers. The Google Classroom is another technology-based tool that most teachers are using now within the classroom. It enables students to go online, right to their Google Classroom, and check assignments, complete tasks, and communicate with their teachers. We still encourage students to use their agenda books on a daily basis because it's an effective way to maintain homework habits and good organization. Like in middle school, assignments can be recorded and long-term projects can be mapped out. We encourage all students to develop relationships and make connections with their teachers, counselors, administrators, or any other staff member in the building. A connection with a trusted adult in many ways can help facilitate student success in high school. Lastly is the importance of getting involved. Studies show that the more a student is involved in their high school community, the higher the chances are for academic success. Sports is just one way a student can get involved. We have a variety of diverse clubs and activities that students can participate in throughout the year. Thank you, and I look forward to meeting you all. Hi, this is Ms. Moisson. I will be speaking with you today about how to keep in touch with your child's school counselor and keep up to date with counseling news and events. The ESM Central High School Counseling Office is on social media. We have a Facebook and Instagram page. Please scan the QR codes shown on the screen to follow our content. If you need to make an appointment with your school counselor, please email the counselor directly or make an appointment in the office with one of the counseling secretaries. We also have resources such as the Counseling Office webpage on ESM's district website and a program called Naviance, which Mr. White will speak about later in the presentation. Good evening, everybody. My name is Adam Chakra. I am the coordinator for Spartan Academy, our early college high school program here at the high school. Tonight, I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about our opportunities that we have with our partnership with Onondaga Community College. The first opportunity is called the OCC Advantage Program. This program is open to all students and includes free tuition at OCC upon completion of a high school diploma. Students elect to sign up for this program during the fall of their freshman year and are expected to maintain certain criteria in the areas of GPA and attendance as well as participation in programming offered by OCC throughout their high school career. The second program that we have is called Spartan Academy. That is an early college high school program where students are able to work toward an Associate of Science degree while they are in high school. For this program, students must apply and be selected to the program in order to participate. The program is focused on STEM careers, in particular computer science, math science, and engineering science. The program of study for this is very rigorous. Students are in college level classes by their sophomore year. We work to instill key college knowledge in our students to prepare them for success in a four-year program after leaving the Spartan Academy program. To learn more about this program, please attend our info night, which will be occurring on February 3rd. Keep your eyes peeled for more information to come. Welcome. I'm Randy Ludwig, the coordinator for College and Career Readiness, and I'm going to tell you about the beginning of our scheduling process for eighth graders as they choose their ninth grade electives. At the high school, all our electives are clustered into career pathways for students. These career pathways are where the conversation begins for teachers, counselors, and students. Research has shown that students are more engaged in school if what they are learning is connected to something relevant. At the high school, we encourage students to think about their life after high school and what they want to explore or where they want to end up, college, career, military, etc. 
When they select their electives, we tell students to think about what elective courses offer them an opportunity to explore a new pathway. Let's take a look at the career pathway so you have an idea of what this looks like. You can access this career pathway booklet on the high school website under the counseling office. Once you click on career pathways, you can explore each one. It's organized by the five pathways, arts and communication, business and information management, engineering, industrial and technological sciences, health and natural resource sciences, and human and family services. If you know which pathway you'd like to explore, you can click on the pathway. If you're not sure, you can click on this, find your career pathway. By clicking on the pathway, we have it organized in ways to find the information. A video, some questions to ask about whether this pathway might be for you, more careers, and all the elective courses that are recommended that fit under that pathway, and possible careers to explore. Once your student is familiar with the career pathways, they can begin to choose their electives. The school counselor will help them look at the ninth grade electives brochure to see which courses fit into which pathway and which course might be of interest to them, which ones might be fun to take, or which ones help them continue in an area of current interest, such as band, music, or art. It will then help your student fill out a Google form. This is the grade nine scheduling worksheet for 21-22. This worksheet is for scheduling the ninth grade electives, which are requested by your student and they are then scheduled based on interest and availability. There's room in a typical ninth grader's schedule to take two credits of electives. Now Ms. Campo will talk about credits and block scheduling. Hi, this is Ms. Campo, and I'm going to discuss how class schedules work at the high school, what a typical freshman schedule looks like, and what credits are needed to graduate with a high school diploma. Students are required to earn at least 22 credits to earn a high school diploma. Four credits of English, four credits of social studies, three credits of math, three credits of science, one credit of language other than English, one credit of art or music, two credits of physical education, half a credit in health, and three and a half credits of elective courses. These are all minimum requirements and many students do choose to take classes that surpass these requirements. Students also have the option of working towards an advanced Regents Diploma, which requires at least three credits of language other than English and certain specifications within their math course sequence. For that reason, we encourage students to continue with language other than English and math throughout high school. Counselors will work with students and their families throughout high school to select courses that align with a student's diploma and college and career goals. ESM Central High School operates on a block schedule consisting of four block class periods each day. Each block consists of one hour and 20 minutes of instructional time, and block two is extended to include a 30 minute lunch period for all students. There are five minutes of passing time between each block. Our schedule also operates on a four day cycle. We rotate through days one, two, three, then four, and then repeating back to the start of the cycle. Classes meet every other day, so a student will have certain classes on their odd day schedule and certain ones on their even day schedule. The exception to this are lab-based sciences, which meet three of the four days, and physical education, which meets one of the four days. The schedule displayed on this slide is a typical freshman year schedule. The student is taking all of their required core academic courses with English, social studies, math, and science. The student is also continuing with language other than English as we recommend. You'll see that beyond these core courses, there is space in the schedule for electives and study hall. The student in particular is taking a course to fulfill their art or music requirement, and that leaves room for an additional elective or study hall. On their course selection form, students will indicate which art, music, and other elective courses they are interested in taking. As well, students can specify if they would prefer to have a half year or full year study hall in their schedule. Counselors will work with students and their families to balance diploma requirements, the students' interests, and course availability to ultimately create their freshman class schedule. Hi, my name is Mike White. I'm one of the school counselors at the high school. I'm here to talk about the counselor's role at the high school, as well as some of the additional resources that we have to offer, like our website. Um, for starters, as a school counselor, we are assigned to and work with your child all four years of high school. The counselor assignment happens by an alphabetical split. 
And as your child goes through their high school career, we are one of the, the people that, that stays consistent all four years. We support students in three main areas or domains. Those are academics, college and career, and social emotional areas. For academics, we support in course selection, grades, collaborating with teachers, and graduation requirements. College and career, we help guide students in career exploration and choices college search and the process. And we recognize that there are traditionally four paths when you leave high school. There's college, there's career, military, and trade school. And whatever is the best fit for your child, we will certainly support in that area. The last area is the social emotional um, component or domain. And this may range from a student having a difficult day, difficult day uh, being upset about a, a quiz or a test or relationship or bullying and it can also range all the way up to um, concerns about self-harm mental health referrals in ninth grade your child will meet with their counselor uh, once by one-on-one -on -one at the beginning of the year we try to do this by november early december to get to know your child um, to talk about future plans, courses, and just the general layout of how high school works. We will then meet with your child again in February or March, where we discuss the following year and what 10th grade will look like. Um, and then certainly any other areas of concern or a student needs to check in, we also meet by appointments and when available. Additionally, there's a lot of valuable information on our website. As you can see here, the counseling office has all of our contact information where you can get in touch with us, which you can see down below with all of our names and email information. We break down information by grade level down the left-hand side, as well as other valuable information and resources related to college, the community, volunteer opportunities, and summer camps. Another resource that we have at our disposal supports in that area or domain of college and career. We have a program called Naviance. This program is our vehicle to career and college exploration. Within this Naviance program, your child will be able to do career assessments, research careers, research colleges, um, look up scholarships. An account will be created with your student when they meet with their counselor in their ninth grade meeting in the fall. Thank you. My name is Jackie Riley, and I'll be talking to you about next steps in the scheduling process. In the next several weeks, your students will be meeting with their middle school counselors to discuss career pathways and the elective course choices that will be available to them in ninth grade. During that meeting, Students will be asked to complete the scheduling worksheet that Randy talked about on a previous slide. This is where students will put in their requests for elective choices for next year. After students have requested their electives for next year, a letter will be sent home to families that includes a copy of the student's choices, a brochure that contains the course descriptions of ninth grade elective course choices will also be included in that mailing. And finally, our next steps include scheduling that will happen in the spring and throughout the summer. Counselors will connect with students then. Schedules will be mailed at the end of August and ninth grade orientation happens late in August as well. If you have any questions, always feel free to contact the middle school counseling office for help.